A $5 billion airport is rising from the ground in Perth right now, and the most shocking part is that it is being built right under the wheels of giant planes as they land and take off every single day. This is the biggest private building project in the history of Western Australia. By 2031, this location will feature a new terminal, a 3,000-metre-long runway, two massive parking structures, and even a luxury hotel. Workers are moving massive amounts of sands as 20 million people try to catch their flights. It is a massive engineering puzzle with thousands of moving parts that must fit perfectly. But what happens when the ground itself is hiding dangerous secrets that could stop the project in its tracks? To understand where we are going, we have to look back at the humble start of this giant project. You might find it hard to believe, but Perth Airport actually started as a golf course. Back during World War II, a place called the Dunreath Golf Course was turned into a base for the Royal Australian Air Force. By 1943, the very first runway was built to help fighter planes take off. Just one year later, the first commercial flights were allowed to use the site, which was then called Guildford Aerodrome. It was not until 1952 that it was officially named Perth Airport. The first international terminal was opened in 1953 and the builders actually used recycled materials left over from the war to build it. Over time, the airport grew, but it had a big problem. The airport was split into two separate sides. Terminals 1 and 2 were on the east, and Terminals 3 and 4 were on the west. Moving between them was a nightmare for travellers. Since 2004, the plan has been to bring everything together into one central hub. After years of legal battles and planning, a massive 12-year deal was signed in 2024 to finally make this one airport dream a reality. But what does it actually take to build a road strong enough for a 600-ton metal bird? Building a new runway is not as simple as laying down some asphalt on a flat piece of dirt. The new parallel runway is 3,000 metres long and 45 metres wide. This new runway sits exactly two kilometres away from the old one so that two planes can land or take off at the same time. The engineers have to move 1.5 million cubic metres of fill material, mostly sand, to get the ground ready. It takes about 71,600 giant truckloads to bring all that sand to the site. Have you ever wondered why a runway needs so much work? It is because a giant jet can weigh over 600 tonnes, which is about the same as 300 large elephants standing on one spot. Because of this weight, the runway pavement is twice as thick as a normal road in your neighbourhood. The engineers build it like a giant sandwich. The bottom is a thick layer of sand. On top of that, they put 500 millimetres of crushed rock and gravel. Then, they spray a special glue called bitumen to seal it before adding a 125 millimetre layer of thick asphalt on top. As the work on the runway moves forward, another group of engineers is busy fixing the water system under the ground. The airport is very flat, so heavy rain can be a big danger for planes. The team is moving two massive drainage channels, called the Northern Main Drain and the Southern Main Drain. They are digging these drains deeper and wider so they can handle a 100-year storm, which is a massive flood that only happens once every century. They also have to protect a special place called Monday Swamp. This is a wetland area that is very important to the local Wadjuk Noongar people. The engineers had to change their designs to make sure the new runway and taxiways did not hurt the swamp or the animals that live there. What happens if the dirt itself is not safe to build on? One of the biggest engineering headaches for the Perth airport team is a group of chemicals called PFAS. These chemicals were used in firefighting foam for many years and have soaked into the soil and the water under the airport. The airport is now using special treatment plants in the drains to clean the water before it flows away. When the builders dig up dirt for the new terminal or runway, 
they have to test it carefully. If it has these chemicals, they have to move it to a safe, lined area or treat it so it cannot hurt anyone. This adds a lot of extra work to the construction. At the same time, the airport is trying to reach net zero by 2032, which means they want to stop adding to pollution entirely. To do this, they are switching all their buses to electric power and finding ways to save water and energy in the new buildings. If you think the runway and the dirt are a lot of work, wait until you see what is happening inside the terminals. The new terminal precinct is a massive project that covers 79 hectares of land. The main building is being designed by a firm called Woods Bagot, and it will be three times larger than the Perth Convention Centre. Inside, everything is about making things faster for you. They are using high-tech kiosks so you can check yourself in, and the new baggage system is a masterpiece of engineering. This system is built to handle 31,000 bags every single day. It uses smart tags called RFID that can track your bag in real time with 99.5% accuracy. The bags move on high-speed conveyor belts at 2.5 meters per second. That is faster than most people walk. Special cross-belt machines can sort more than 7,200 bags every hour, ensuring your luggage gets to the right plane even during the busiest times. Terminal 2 is also getting a big upgrade. A company called Hoskins is leading the work to double the capacity of Terminal 2. They are adding more check-in spots, larger security areas and more room for people to sit and wait. The tricky part is doing all this work while the terminal is still full of passengers. The workers have to put up walls to keep the dust away from travellers and do the loudest jobs in the middle of the night. This is like trying to fix a moving car without stopping the engine. But how do passengers get to these new terminals without getting stuck in traffic? The answer is a $1.86 billion train line called Metronet. This project was finished in 2022 and used giant boring machines to dig tunnels 26 meters under the ground. To connect the station to the airport, a company called Georgiou Group built a 280-metre-long skybridge. This bridge has the longest escalators in the Southern Hemisphere. They are 35 metres long and can move 8,200 people every hour. If you are tired after your flight, you won't have to go far to find a bed. By 2027, a new eight-storey hotel called the Pullman Perth Airport will open right next to the terminal. The building is designed to look like a plane with metal fins that help keep it cool. Because the planes are so close, the engineers are using special soundproof glass so you can sleep in peace, even if a giant jet is taking off just outside your window. The hotel will have 240 rooms and a rooftop pool where you can watch planes while you swim. Building all of this takes a lot of help from expert companies. A famous engineering group called Bechtel has been hired to manage the whole project. They have worked on over 100 airports around the world, so they know how to handle the pressure. On the airfield, companies like CPB Contractors and BMD Group are the ones driving the giant trucks and laying the asphalt for the runway. They are using smart technology like 3D modeling to make sure every pipe and wire is in exactly the right place before they even start digging. This helps them avoid any nasty surprises hidden under the dirt. But does everyone agree with this massive $5 billion plan? This project is a massive financial bet on the future of Western Australia. The $5 billion cost is being paid for by the private airport company, and they expect it to help the local economy grow to $17 billion a year by 2046. However, not everyone is happy. People living in nearby suburbs are worried about the noise from the new runway. Some residents are asking for help to pay for soundproofing in their homes, and there have been many complaints sent to the government about the new flight paths. The airport says it is working with Air Services Australia to make the flight paths as quiet as possible. But for many families, the noise is a big concern. There is also the deadline of 2031 to keep in mind. If the new terminal is not ready by then, 
Qantas and Jetstar might not be able to move their planes, which could cause huge delays for everyone. Despite these challenges, the transformation is moving full steam ahead. Every day, the skyline of the airport changes as more steel is added and more sand is moved. It is a race against time to turn Perth into Australia's second largest international hub right after Sydney. By the time the project is finished, this once quiet golf course will be a world-class gateway connecting Western Australia to places like London, Paris and Rome with ease. What do you think about this massive project? Do you think the new runway and terminal are worth the $5 billion price tag? Or are you worried about the noise and the environment? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Ultimate Mega Builds channel for more stories about the world's most amazing construction projects. Make sure to turn your notifications on so you never miss an update on the Mega Builds that are changing our future.